Equivalent expressions. Equivalent expressions. <laughs> um, pretty much, we can represent equivalent expressions um, by using one of these little signs that kind of looks like little railroad tracks, which we call an equal sign. And when dealing with this, equivalent expressions pretty much mean that this side equals that side, meaning that two expressions um, algebraic or you know numeric are going to have exactly the same value. So let's take a look at a couple uh, equivalent expressions. 7 equals 7. So therefore I can say the value on the left side of the equal sign is equal to the value of um, the expression on the right side, which is 7 equals 7. Fair enough, right? Um, a lot of times we actually looked at this. I could do 3 times 4 is equal to 4 times 3. Right? This is when we use the uh, commutative property. We said that 3 times 4 was equal to 4 times 3. The values on the left and right side are equal to each other. Uh, what else have we talked about so far? We said a plus 0 was equal to a, where a represents any real value or any real number. But since they're a, they have to be exactly the same. So we said that a plus 0 equals a. Now, I know they don't look like the same, but what we talked about was the value of both sides of this equation are exactly the same. Therefore, they are equivalent expressions. Um, so, you know, a lot of times when we're talking about equivalent expressions, it's just a way to say that, you know, the left side is equal to the right side. Um, and they don't always have to look alike, right? So, one thing that, you know, we'll start when we start looking into equations, we could say that A equals 9. This is an equivalent expression, meaning the value of a is equal to 9. So this side equals this side. Well, if this side equals this side, then what does the value of a have to be? Well, the value of a has to be 9. right? Therefore, we can say a is equal to 9, or the same value as 9. So there's just a uh, quick little demonstration of equivalent expressions.